Hello there and welcome back. Today we have Kevin Davis, who is a 72-year-old male who's complaining of dizziness. He stated to the triage nurse that in the middle of the night he had a funny feeling in his chest that lasted a few seconds. However, this morning that same feeling is back and is now dizzy. So that's all the information we have right now, but let's get started. As always, we need to perform a general interview to get basic information from the patient on what is going on. You can see the text bubbles and read them now so that we are all on the same page. Now that the interview is done, we are going to set up our vital sign monitors and start an IV. Here you can see our vital signs for this patient now. Since Mr. Davis has a heart rate over 150, we will follow the adult tachycardia with a pulse algorithm. Step two asks us to try to identify and treat underlying causes that includes issues with the airway, perfusion, and leaving the patient on a monitor, which we have already done. Step three is now asking us to determine if the tachyarrhythmia is causing hypotension, altered mental status, shock, heart failure, or chest discomfort. Looking back at our vital signs, we can see that we do have some hypotension, some heart failure, and the patient had previously reported a funny feeling in the chest, which was discomfort. As such, we need to perform synchronized cardioversion. However, since this is a regular narrow complex, we can also try a denison, and we will try that first. So let's start with giving six milligrams of adenosine IV push now and wait a few moments. Remember, adenosine is given as a rapid bolus. While we wait, we will start a one liter saline fluid bolus and start a bag of saline at 75 milliliters an hour. Our first dose of adenosine didn't work, so we will now try to give a second dose, but this time we will give 12 milligrams of adenosine IV push now. Again, adenosine does not work. We will now give procedural sedation and turn our defibrillator to manual control. We will sync our defibrillator with Mr. Davis's heart rhythm, and we can see here now that the defibrillator is synced due to these inverted triangles above the QRS complexes. Once the defibrillator has finished charging, we will clear the patient and deliver the synchronized shock in order to cardiovert this patient. As soon as that shock is delivered, our rhythm changes and we check a pulse to ensure that there is indeed an actual pulse there. We will get a 12 lead ECG, which shows an irregular sinus rhythm currently. Additionally, we will collect a blood glucose, troponin, venous, and arterial blood sample. We will cover the patient for privacy as well. We will take a quick listen to Mr. Davis's lungs and heart, and don't auscultate anything abnormal. Since radiology is here to take Mr. Davis's x-ray, we will let them get in real quick while we prepare to transfer the patient to ICU. You will note that the American Heart Association didn't find that we did anything wrong in this case, but if you would like to review the timestamps for more detail, you can pause the video at any time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, consider liking the video. Leave us feedback in the form of a comment if you have any questions, concerns, complaints, or compliments. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to see more footage like this. Till next time, stay safe.